Welcome to your Leo New Moon reading. If you're listening to this only, you are getting less than half of Great Mother's message to you for this Leo New Moon. All signs have their gifts that they give to us and gifts that we um, give to each other through our emotional orientation each month. It waxes and wanes. But Leo is ruled by the sun, and if nothing else, everyone knows their sun sign. There's a reason for that. So you want to go ahead. If you don't have time now, copy the link below or click into the link below. It goes to the Mama Drama Trauma channel. You want to subscribe to that for these types of longer videos that get into the meat of Mama Drama Trauma. This is a very important introduction to the Leo Virgo New Moon. If you are in your current Sati Sati, that means if you are Scorpio, Sagittarius, or Capricorn moon sign people in the Vedic Astrology, this is a particularly important message for you because we're talking about the buildup from now until January of the Saturn-Pluto conjunction. Again, that video is at the Mama Drama Trauma channel. It's the introduction to the Leo New Moon, what to do for the Saturn-Pluto conjunction. Now, between now and then is a season of planting and reaping. So you want to know what that's about. And you also want to pay attention to if your moon sign is coming up in a new moon in particular. I'm going to have Virgo up next, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. In the meantime and in between time, you want to also look at full moon signs coming up in Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer in terms of full illumination and release. Very very powerful time. This period is a seeding of the rest of your life, what the rest of your life is going to look like. And Great Mother's giving you a message about how to work with the supportive energy. Speaking of support, my gift via Great Mother to you is a free Great Mother Speaks Oracle deck. That's right. The newly revised Great Mother Speaks Oracle deck is now available. They're going to be shipped out as a Northern Hemisphere harvest happens for us September 14th. It's going to be sent out to you as a free gift. Now, there's a tutorial that is also a part of this gift between November 3rd and December 22nd. You choose Sunday or Monday nights which tutorial group you want to be a part of. And 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every Sunday and Monday between November 3rd and December 22nd, you're going to learn the eight suits of the Great Mother Speaks Oracle deck. That Aspire, we're always talking about those six lower or pip cards, as we say in traditional tarot, and the major arcana, A-S-P-I-R-E, Acknowledge, Self-Inquiry, Processing, Integrity, Rebirth, and Emancipation. In addition to the law cards, of course, we have an angel card there and the angels are working with all of us right now. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Cancer moon sign in the center of your spread is Baba Yaga, the wild woman card. It is the throat chakra new moon card. Throat chakra is ruled by Mercury, which rules Gemini and Virgo. So, um, what does that mean for you? It means that as Cancer Moon sign, you download. So your intuitive downloads, your moon yogas, in other words, are Gemini download, Cancer feeling, Leo processing. 
So you download intuition like a Gemini. You feel about that intuition like a cancer. And you process those emotions that result like a Leo. So this is telling me that this new moon, there's some really wild downloads coming to you. These downloads are telling you or encouraging you to do something that you otherwise would not or that you're seriously considering not doing because it's off the beaten path. It doesn't make sense Um, or it does make sense, but it's too risky, scary. Fifth chakra energy is about speaking your truth. It's about acting on your higher will. And the higher will for Mama Drama Trauma is to align with its soul contract, which is to evolve in self-love and spiritual independence. This lunar cycle, therefore, or this entire season, as Great Mother has called it in the introduction link below the Leo New Moon introduction video, Saturn-Pluto conjunction, what to do, it's a season of both planting and harvesting. We are harvesting what we have downloaded over the past at least six months, especially the last two during the eclipse season for this year. And since the eclipse, the world stopped to watch August 2017. As a result of this new cycle starting with this new moon, fifth chakra energy, you're downloading some things that are kind of like, whoo, okay. And what's bringing this up is Sophia, the inner wisdom of the heart chakra. You have heart chakra new moon energy, lots of newness for you, a lot of new feelings for you. Heart chakra is the crossroads between the ego and the soul energetically. So Venus ruling the heart chakra rules Taurus and Libra. What's bringing the need to face this newness, despite fears and apprehensions, is your inner wisdom about doing it. You know in your hearts of hearts, there's an inner wisdom that you need to do this. You need to go into this new space of internal confirmation. You know that in order for you to honor all the spiritual work that you've been doing over the last several years, you're going to have to take the dive from MDT identity of shame, blame, and guilt into divinity identity, knowing that you are a divine child who's dearly loved, never judged, condemned, or left alone. You're going to have to choose. And that's what's scary. So in your shadow position, you may not realize, as we see here with Inanna, the crescent moon, third eye card. I love these new cards, the colors. We can really see what's being activated here. And you have a lot of green heart chakra energy, three cards here, and you have two cards with the third eye in the shadow position. This intuition about embracing your shadow self. There's a shadow self that exists, that is real, that has a life. It has a, it breathes, it moves, it has a being within your consciousness. That child who is a victim of abandonment and abuse. It's very real. It activates, it gets triggered. It does all kinds of things that you have to chide it back or discipline it back or meditate it back or um, give affirmations back to it about how it really needs to behave as a divine child. And so you may not realize that in doing a lot of this new stuff, what's really needed at this time is for you to embrace those aspects of yourself. That child needs a big old hug from you. Cancer moon sign. It needs a big old hug from you. You're doing a wonderful job. You're planting a wonderful seed. And we want to make sure it continues to be healthy seed. So don't self-abandon or self-abuse. Embrace the shadow. Let that hurt child know that it is 
a divine, dearly loved child of the great mother, father, God, who's never judged, condemned, or left alone. It's been judged and condemned its whole life. No one has loved it the way it's needed to be loved. You love it. Talk to it when it's acting up. Say, I know, I know, I know. You know, you want to cuss the people out. I know that's how we've dealt with it in the past, but this time we're going to try something different, okay? That's what we want to do. We want to talk to our wounded inner child the way that we want it to be talked to. Because that is what you want in your desired position is Coventina, your second heart chakra card and the waxing gibbous moon phase. So there is a revising, an editing, a reframing of how you are feeling about your inner wisdom and shifting that to accommodate that kind of purification. The purification that will allow you to open up more to your shadow side with love. And that's what you're wanting to do. You're wanting to do that. But it doesn't have to be a hard process. It doesn't have to be um, a disciplinary process in the uh, most rudimentary regard. It can be a lovingly disciplinary process. And Cancer, you know how to do that. You know exactly how to do that. Do that for yourself because you're being supported by Acknowledge. Acknowledge is the A in Aspire. It is the Root Chakra Suit. This is the Balsamic Moon card. All of the Aspire cards are Balsamic Moon cards which have to do with download. It is the download phase of the moon right before the new moon. So you're being supported this new moon right before it with downloads about your soul contract to evolve in self-love and spiritual independence. That's what that means. You are receiving downloads about how to do this self-love of your shadow self. You are receiving downloads about how to be more spiritually independent in terms of verifying your own intuitive wisdom through your own experience, as opposed to needing a cosigner. Being more self-observant is easier the less self-judgmental we are. And self-abandoning and abusing, because once we uh, embrace all ourselves fully we are no longer afraid of observing all aspects of ourselves which is quite informative and that's what's supporting you because the more you let in about yourself and the more you love about yourself the more you can purify those aspects lovingly that you don't want to bring forward into your new season This is wonderful. Your present state of ego soul alignment, Cancer Moon sign, is Mayat, the Egyptian goddess of the scales, weighing the heart on one side with a feather. And if they're balanced, that is an indication the soul has complete integrity. So that's the justice that is weighed in this process where our heart is. And you have all of this heart chakra energy opening up to this new process. This first quarter moon, third eye card, ruled by the moon, which rules cancer, is letting us know that the journey that you have been on toward self-love and spiritual independence over the past several years and months has brought you to a place that you weren't expecting you would arrive at or that you're completely shocked that you, you just, it wasn't what you were expecting. You know, you weren't expecting this time of your life to be this way or, um, where you are in relationship to your mother to be the way that it is more specifically you were holding on to hope after hope after hope things would change and they didn't the way you wanted them to the way you expected them to perhaps but they have changed in ways that have allowed you the greatest growth and the greatest blessings that you've ever known And you can take that to the bank and cash it. 
because I'm seeing that your present state of ego soul alignment is one in which there may be a little confusion about that only because the shadow self has not been embraced fully. And that is the part of you that is going to inform you about all the blessings that you have as a result of things not being the way you expected them to be. Now, for those of you who are embracing your shadow self, but you may not be sharing that with others, that's part of you developing your spiritual independence. You are developing a, a sense of personal spirituality that is more resilient, it's more vital, it's more meaningful to you than what others have to say. You don't need that co-signing from other people. And so in the past, where that would have been important, you're realizing now you would have never expected the approval of others not to mean the world to you. You're surprised that those chains have been totally lifted. So that's the present state of ego soul alignment. Some of you, it is a, a work in progress for you to integrate that shadow self and love it enough for you to hear what that wounded inner child has to say to you, to realize how blessed you truly are, and that loving discipline for the purification of your inner wisdom to come out is a little wild. And for others, the wildness is really breaking out of the confines of the dictates of others and you being in a place of true appreciation of that. It's been very challenging, indicated by this first quarter moon energy, which is about consciously facing challenges. Now, why your soul wants to do this particular work of kind of wilding out and going there, which is someplace that you've never been before, despite fear, which is the very definition of courage, by the way. Your soul wants you to be courageous because the law of destiny and free will, it wants you to embrace your divinity identity. It wants you to fully align with it. This is single yin, double yang energy in the fifth chakra. Fifth chakra is our higher will, and that's the center of your spread. Baba Yaga is the new moon fifth chakra card, speaking your truth. And third quarter moon is release, letting go, letting go of all of those things that prevent you from embracing your divinity identity. Living according to the dictum that you are a divine child who is dearly loved, never judged, condemned, or left alone. That means despite how other people feel. See, that's why some people, you're not even tripping on what other people feel anymore. Because you know that as long as you feel right within yourself and you're good and you're loving to yourself, that just makes you even more loving to other people. Because now you have authentic compassion. Not just compassion that's imposed on you through some outer external philosophy or, or, or religiosity like we do when we disavow or disown our shadow selves, but the kind of compassion we have when we embrace our shadow selves and we start loving on it through a loving disciplinary process, through a loving process of affirmation and internal positive speak that gives us that authentic compassion towards ourselves that we bless others with because we know how it is. We know how hard it is. And we can see, once we have seen our own shadow, the shadows of others with more compassion. Everybody's doing the best they can, really. Everybody's doing the best with what they got. You know what has taught me that? Astrology, Vedic astrology. Everybody has their own unique cosmic calculus, is what I call it. It is a calculus. It is cosmic. It is unique. We are stellar Flakes, not snowflakes. We are stellar constellation flakes, all unique with the unique abilities, talents. We have different wheelhouses where we have strengths in and the, where our weaknesses are. You know, all the houses have karma based on lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. And some houses have strong karma. Some houses have weak karma. 
That's how you see people that might have, you know, all of the children in the world, but then they can't take care of them. And you want a child or somebody who has, you know, all the money in the house and the material stuff, but they can't get along with nobody for nothing. You know, it's 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 very unique. And so we realize when we have authentic passion, how compassion, how difficult it is for all of us. And so that's why your soul wants to do this work. It wants you to embrace the law of destiny and free will. Your free will choice to continue with what's familiar, the MDT, shame, blame, and guilt identity, and that superimposed game of toxicity, or regardless of the intentions of others, the abandonment and abuse of others, your experience always being one of divinity because you know that everything comes as a result of you being loved. Every experience is an experience for you to see that you're not condemned, judged, or left alone. So there's no way something can affect you in that way. And if it does, it's an opportunity to allow life to show you something different, which is what Baba Yaga is all about, the wild woman card. Trusting that next phase in our lives. Okay, so what is this showing me? So this is opening me up to something, something else completely new. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, so I'm seeing that I'm loved through this experience. I wasn't included in this, and I was looking forward to this whole community thing, and I was supposed to be a part of this group and this and whatever as an example, and we were going to do this and we were going to do that, and came to it, and they totally rejected me. Didn't even want me part of the group. Didn't even invite me to the final shindig. How is that affirming my divinity? Everything is. We have got to realize that rejection is the most common form of great mother, father, God telling us there's something better for us. That's not it. They truly want the best for us. We, you know, hold on to these things. And that's a part of holding on to that shame, blame and guilt. The divinity identity in that situation is like, wow, what a ride that was. Ooh, I was really on one with that, but that wasn't it. That could not have been it because if it was, I would have had it. And so how your soul wants to get to that point is with the processing card. This is gut chakra energy. It is another Aspire suit card. The P in Aspire is about processing your journey. This is the part in the Wizard of Oz when, um, of course, Dorothy uh, returns home ultimately to the farm and she's told by Aunt M after she shares her experiences that she's only had a dream. Well, of course, that's what Aunt M would think. She's been lying there the whole time. So your soul wants you to realize that it is important for you if you are not already, as some are, at the point of not needing the co-signage of others for you to get there. It's important for you to have your own sense of truth, of authenticity, of self-love, of personal spirituality, because that's what's going to sustain you moving forward. If Dorothy would have broken down in the bed right there and said, oh, you don't believe me, <laughs> oh, Oh, you know, what would have been the point of her journey and, and all that she went through to get the witch's broom, which symbolizes taking her power back? No, you have taken your power back or you were in the process of it from MDT and you need to own it. You need to own it in your gut. That is how your soul wants to do this work. It wants you to own it. We see the gut chakra energy here, but we also see the purple, okay, that is converging with this energy. And the frequency, therefore, is higher because that's third eye frequency. And so the soul is really assisting you to process the letting go 
of the MDT identity in order to embrace divinity. You have to decide this day forward because the season between now and January is going to test you on it. So um, get ready. And if you are able to sustain a self-loving practice by January, that Saturn-Pluto conjunction is going to do nothing but assist you in releasing the rest that needs to be released around that toxicity. Very, very powerful. Very powerful. Be not afraid. There is so much support for you in this process right now. It is amazing. That's why Baba Yaga is here like, hey, go for it. Despite the sign saying don't, you own your divinity. It is yours, Cancer Moon Sign people. Great Mother rules your moon sign. Thought you knew. What does Big Free to say? Um, you already know. You already know. Now, your final outcome is Quan Yin, your th- Third heart chakra card. Yay. That's compassion. We've been talking about compassion. And doing this work that Great Mother has just laid out for you is going to render a kind of self-compassion that we were just discussing. This authentic sense of self that many of you already naturally have, but sometimes it becomes such a rudimentary thing that you forget about the energy exchange involved in it. It's a very loving thing that you have. I used to have an older cousin, a female cousin. You have any of those female cousins growing up that was always so pretty and all the boys liked her and this and whatever. And um, she was real sweet, but you knew she had clear boundaries with the, the with the guys. And that, that's what made them like her even more. And uh, one time I was asking her about how she was responding to a guy who I thought seemed really, really nice and everything like that. And she was like, yeah, Tammy, you know, he's cool. He's cool. I really like him, too. But you know what? It takes a whole lot to make this honey sweet, and I'm not just going to be giving it to anybody. And so um, I I dole it out when and where I'm ready. And so, yeah, he can keep on being sweet, but I'm sweet, too. (laughs) I'm sweet, too, you know. (laughs) So (laughs) I never forgot that. And it's true. And, um, you know, today, you know, she's just... Very, very inspirational, even still, you know, as um, a woman who teaches, you know, younger women just through her life example of um, how to share her honey. And so that is your outcome, Cancer Moon Sign people, that compassion authentically shared first with yourself and then with others is your outcome for working with great mother energies as she has suggested speaking of such there are new moon wishes coming up for you in relationship to this reading i want to thank you first for watching sharing and liking uh, go ahead and go to the link below to sign up for your free Great Mother Speaks Oracle deck and the tutorial coming up in November if you'd like. But be sure that you pin to your search engine the introduction video if you don't have time to watch it now. You will want to watch that between now and January. Lots of things are about to get kicked off in the world. And you can see what Great Mother said about that larger pattern. Now, remember, the new moon wishes are based on the Virgo new moon in the Western egoic astrology. We make new moon wishes based Based on ego desires to align with soul intent. So these are your suggested new moon wishes. Get a pencil and paper out and write no more than 10. Virgo rules synthesis, including desire for perfection, processing, bringing order out of chaos, the ability to see how the pieces fit together. Paper and pencil out for anything that resonates with you for your Virgo new moon wish would be helpful as these are the sample wishes to activate the ability for synthesis. I want to easily find myself aware of and accepting of good fortune when it comes to me. I want to easily find myself focusing on what is right in my life rather than what is wrong. I want to easily find myself taking hold, seeing, and following practical action in the issue of fill in the blank.
I want to easily find myself processing my relationship with blank in a way that leads to a total healing for me. I want to clearly see the situation with blank in a way that shows me how to bring order out of the chaos. I want accurate clarity in seeing how the pieces fit in the situation of fill in the blank. I want to easily find myself focusing on the positive results I want to create in the situation of fill in the blank. Virgo rules discrimination, including analysis, critical thinking, focus, and discernment. Might want to get out your pencil and paper to jot down whatever strikes your spirit as your Virgo new moon wish. Sample wishes for discrimination. To promote accurate discrimination, you may want to... Write down, I want to easily find myself analyzing the problem of fill in the blank in a way that produces productive, happy results. I want all confusion and overanalyzing of my situation with fill in the blank easily lifted from me. I want to easily find myself accurately discerning what is important to me and what is not. I want to easily find myself effectively responding to external crises without inner tension. I want to easily find myself focusing on and appreciating the opportunities that are being offered to me. I want to easily find myself consistently focusing on the here and now moment, using it to make my dreams come true. Great news speaks to us in raw, realistic, and unrighteousness.